Hey, this is Jeff with Encore Coatings. Thanks for tuning in to the Encore Media page. Today I'm here to tell you about our first ever intelligent self-healing deck coating. Uh, this is a brand new technology in the coatings genre, the coatings world. Uh, we're all used to the basic materials, which are your ordinary paints, your ordinary stains and sealers, which don't really have any kind of intelligence to them at all. At that next level, you have smart coatings, which a great example of a smart material or a smart coating would be our acrylic clear sealer called Sealback. Uh, the functionality of it being able to respond to its surrounding environment um, classifies it as a smart material. Every time rain or water is introduced to the seal back, it's able to self-clean itself. So that response to its environment classifies it as a smart material. However, today I will tell you about an intelligent coating, which takes it a step further with multiple functions and able to self-sustain itself throughout its lifetime. So let's take a closer look at what these functions are in this intelligent coating, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got a closer look at what's really going on here, um, this is just an ordinary deck board. It might look familiar to you uh, if you have a deck on the back of your house, whereas we have the wood grain, of course, and some cracks developing. Now, cracks are a big problem uh, for most coatings because they're great entryways for water. And once water is introduced into these cracks, it can work its way underneath the coating, okay, which is which is a problem. Uh, water is a big factor when it comes to coating failures, just for the reason I just mentioned, is that the water will get underneath the coating and eventually pop up the coating, causing a failure. Now, uh, we talked about intelligent and smart coatings uh, in the way that they are able to respond to their surrounding environment. Meaning, uh, when water is introduced, there is an immediate reaction by the coating in a beneficial way. And this board here is a great example of the first response of an intelligent coating. The water will reach its way into these cracks and eventually start working its way underneath the coating. And I want you to observe what has happened to this coating. If you notice, along the cracks, the coating has swelled inside the crack. It has actually grown and expanded in order to seal off further water intrusion. It knows water is trying to get up underneath it. It, it knows water is, uh, is a leading factor to failure and therefore it, it responds in the appropriate manner to seal off further water intrusion. As you can see, um, the coating not only expands in the crack as it works its way underneath the coating, it actually has grown outward into the bare wood area in attempt to seal off further water intrusion. So, this is only one of the functions of this intelligent coating. Uh, the, the other function is actually a self-healing aspect to where if this crack ever does um, have enough tensile force on it to actually open up and crack, uh, again, water would be the catalyst to activate a self-healing phenomenon, which we are going to show you exactly that under a, a microscopic a camera. It's, it's a lot easier to see it under a microscope. However, this is what I'm showing you here. This is just the first function, the first response of this intelligent coating. So moving on to the second function of this intelligent coating, we've used a microscope camera to zoom in to about 15 times magnification. Uh, the blue substance you see on the right is the ink from my pen. We've seen how the first response is more of a preventative measure, the crack control via coating expansion and swelling. But what happens once the coating is actually breached? What happens when the preventative response just isn't enough and the coating actually splits open? Well, that's exactly what we see here in this first picture, and we're going to show you the secondary response, which is self-healing. As we move on to the second picture, keep in mind that this coating has been hydrated continuously because water is the catalyst to the self-healing response. You see here that the crack has begun to close. By the third picture, the crack has almost completely grown back into itself. And finally, over the course of 12 days in continuous hydration, the fourth picture shows a completely healed crack. It has not only closed and resealed itself, however, observe that it has actually demonstrated additional crack swelling and expansion, which is exactly what we saw earlier in the initial preventative response. So this coating has gone from cracked and compromised to right back where it started in the first response, therefore completely restoring the protective barrier.
This next series of pictures will show you an even closer look at the secondary self-healing function of this intelligent coating. These pictures were taken over the course of several days at about 150 times magnification, uh, which is a lot closer than the previous series of pictures. Uh, we can almost see individual aggregates within the coating itself. That's how close we are. Anyway, as you see here in the first picture, a crack has begun to open within the coating itself. Again, this is caused by constant movement within the surface that the coating is applied on. In this case, again, we are coating over a wood deck board. So observe the rips, the tears, and splits developing within the coating all because of this movement going on in the wood. As we move on to the second picture, notice how the tears and holes in the coating have decreased in size considerably. However, there's still a, a few hanging out. It's not completely healed yet. However, as we move on to the third picture, after more water has been introduced, we see that the holes and rips in the coating have completely disappeared. This last series of pictures I want to show you were also taken at about 150 times magnification. Uh, and these are my personal favorites, so I believe we've saved the best for last. Uh, when this coating was applied, we filled an existing crack in the wood, which is exactly what our deck coating is engineered to do. But keep in mind that existing cracks in a surface represent areas of maximum surface movement, which is why the crack is there to begin with. So this inherently puts stress on any coating that is applied into that crack. Thus, we see that the coating has begun to split open, exposing large tears and holes, we like to refer to these exposed holes as holidays in the coatings industry. Uh, these holidays are undesirable in any coating application because they allow weather to intrude and eventually lead to a coating failure. However, Encore's new technology puts an end to all that. I mean, notice in the second picture that the two large holes have drastically decreased in size and the crack which conjoins them has also begun to close. Lastly, we see a completely healed crack and zero signs of unwanted holidays. Not only that, we also see that the bottom side of the coating near the exposed wood has significantly swelled and expanded in an attempt to provide a barrier from future water intrusion. This was not the case in the first two pictures. I'll take you through this sequence one more time so you can get a better look. In conclusion, I'd like to say that this technology is truly special. Whereas harsh weather conditions and exposure to the elements is always detrimental to other paints and coatings, it's actually beneficial to ours. So when the going gets tough, our coatings double down and work harder for you. If you liked what you saw here today, you should check out my blog for more in-depth information regarding this new technology. And of course, visit www.encorecoatings.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.